So remember, when I call you to the stand, you're just gonna quietly get up and say as you rehearsed, all right? We're gonna get this over with as quickly and as painlessly as possible. And though I realize I don't have to say this, don't say anything that could possibly implicate that. that you were the one who drove the car into a mailbox and drove off without telling anyone? Ironically, that's exactly what I want you to say. Don't you remember anything that we rehearsed? I thought you were joking. No. The thing that I don't want you to say is the reason why we hit the mailbox. That's why we're pleading guilty, so we don't have to explain ourselves. I don't think it's that simple. Sure it is. So that's the reason why you're representing us and I'm an actual lawyer. We don't need any lawyer for something simple like this! And besides, they're more concerned with protecting their own self-image than their client's best interests. And who better to look after my best interests than myself? You mean our best interests? That's what I said. But what if they ask us our reason for hitting the mailbox? As I said, they won't have to. That's why we're pleading guilty. After that, we pay a small fine, then leave. I don't know. I mean, who uses mail anymore anyway? No one cares. We're doing whoever owned that mailbox a favor. In 25 years, it'll all be gone. We're just saving them the cost of removing it. If anything, we should be getting paid. So I don't know about your reason, but I just happen to really hate mailboxes. The real reason you're a lawyer is because you don't want to pay any money for one, isn't it? You know it's possible to get one for free, right? Let's see what we have here. No jury? Did you waive our right to that too? There's no jury because this is a pre-trial, okay? It's just us, the judge, and- Could the prosecution please state its case? Thank you, Your Honor. I am fully prepared to prove the defendants have maliciously destroyed a mailbox, thus committing a serious federal crime. Hence, by Title 18 of the United States Code, Section 1705, the offenders deserve to be punished to the full extent of the law, including a fine of over $10,000 and, depending on the court, getting two or three years in jail. And the defendant's plea? Guilty. Not! Not guilty! Not guilty, Your Honor. Straight to the point, although the prosecution's willing to continue with the preliminary hearing, it would not be fair to the defense if it is not ready. The defense is also ready, Your Honor. If both sides are equally prepared, the prosecution may proceed. He's got nothing on us. He's just bluffing. I present to the court this desecrated mailbox found on Rhine Street at approximately 2.50 a.m. after the crime Which occurred. is why it can be concluded that the trace samples of paint from the object that struck the mailbox you know, are consistent with the there's something funny about one of the things he said, driven but I can't think of why time. exactly. Well, the whole thing's a joke. Maybe we should just plead guilty. But when we've practically won, he's got nothing on us, okay? He thinks we hit the mailbox on purpose, but he'll never be able to prove a motive, and he knows it. It's time to drive the nail into the coffin. Who's? Your Honor, before the defense calls its planned witness, I would first like to call to the stand an expert character witness that will certainly elucidate any of the doubts surrounding the quality of character the defendants have. Why not? He's guilty. Mom! The defense can now call its second witness. Mr. Philip Lander, may I call you Phil? No. I can't take it anymore. I admit everything. It was all his fault. My fault? You were the one who let me drive! How's that my fault? Well, it was pretty baked and smashed at the time. How was I supposed to know you were going to drive over 25 miles oh, past the speed limit? I was trying to keep up with traffic! What traffic? Exactly! Now, I admit, maybe when we got into the neighborhood, I drove a little too close to the curb. On the left side of the road? It's harder to text and drive than you might think. Especially when high. You could have gone as killed. If you hadn't let me drive while stoned and drunk, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. And I bet he didn't even remind you to wear a seatbelt. No! I demand there be order in the court. According to this police report, the real culprit who crashed into the mailbox just signed a full confession to committing the act and is currently in custody. He drove the same type of car on Rhine Street as the defendants. That's it. I knew something was off. That night we were driving on Pine Street, not Rhine Street. Then what did we run into on the side of the road? Did I mention that I really hate mailboxes? <laughs>